Hello, this is Gamond, and today I will show you how to build a micro carrot slash potato farm. You can also grow wheat and beetroot with this design, but it works best with carrots and potatoes. And here are some of the items you need for this build. Some building blocks, one stair, one trap door, and one bucket of water. Then two pieces of redstone dust, one redstone repeater, two sticky pistons, two observers, one dispenser, and one lever. One minecart with hopper, one rail, two hoppers, and four chests. Then of course, a hoe, and at least half a stack of carrots or potatoes. This design uses quite a lot of bone meal, as you can see, so I will link down in the description a couple of my bone meal farms. So go check them out, you do not have enough bone meal to operate this farm. Let's start by digging down two blocks down, like this. Then let's place a chest in here, go another two blocks down, and then one hopper. And on top of that hopper we will place one rail. Crouch and right click the hopper with your rail, like that. And then take out your minecart with a hopper and place it on top of the rail, like that. Then take one block of dirt and place it above the minecart with a hopper. Then go on top of the dirt block, place one stair in here and then some blocks on the sides like this. And then take out your water bucket and place the water inside this stair, like this. And now just hold this dirt out like this. Now you can plant your seeds and stuff in here. Then place some blocks around in here like this. In here. And then go down on top of the chest and place a dispenser pointing down like this. And then just place some more blocks here and then a block in here. Then place a lever in here like that. And then one sticky piston. And on the top of the sticky piston we will place one observer pointing into this pointing into this wall right in here like that. Then let's go up in here and place another observer on here pointing into that side. And then let's test this out. And as you can see it's working as it should. Like that. And flick the lever again so to turn this off. Then again let's go on top of this farm and place three blocks in here. Then two pieces of redstone dust and one repeater. Like that. Then place a block on top of this dispenser, go down and place sticky piston pointing down. And then place another block on front of this piston. Like that. Then place one block next to this piston. Set the repeater into four ticks. Like this. Click it three times with your right click. And now let's test this out. Like that. Then take out one hopper, crouch and click the dispenser like that. Then go on top of here and place one chest right in here. In this chest you will place your bone meal. Let's place a few stacks in here. As you can see it gets into this hopper and then into this dispenser. Like that. And now, place one block in here, and then one trapdoor, so you won't fall down here. Now you have access to your chest. And now let me show you how this farm works. So, you flick this lever, and the bone mill starts activating, and also this piston. Then go in here, and place your carrots inside this corner. As you can see, they grow up super fast. Then the items will go through. This dirt block where the carrots grow inside the hopper minecart and then into the chest. You can actually AFK a really long time, as you can see some of the carrots get inside your inventory. Like that. Only downside to this farm is that this needs loads of bone meal. So I will link down a bone meal farm in the description. So go check it out if you need some bone meal. And now to turn this farm off, you flick this lever, simple as that. And then check, let's check out the carrot situation. 
We started out with a half a stack of carrots and now we have almost 3 stacks. And that didn't take a long time at all. I was messing around with this design quite a while and tried to make it as small as I can. And this is the end result. I think it's quite simple and easy to use and it's quite fast I have to say. I have seen similar designs that use multiple dispenser but, but in this design I decided to only use one dispenser. It's still quite fast I have to say. Thanks for watching and if this video was helpful please give a thumbs up on this video. And if you want to support me please consider subscribing. And why not go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you next time. This is Gamer. Bye bye.